everyone. In this video today, I want to share with you my multiple six figure financial coaching practice, really taking you step by step through my entire process from prospecting, networking, outreach to nurturing process, to the sales process, to the closing process, to the actual working with the client process, and then just rinse, lather, repeat. I think this will be very beneficial for those who are existing financial coaches, consultants, uh, maybe even advisors, people who are building their practice, maybe solo, going on to social media, or maybe you're brand new. You're looking to add a second stream of income or third by becoming a financial coach or consultant. You're looking to add that to your arsenal, to your tool belt of resources, to your audience, to your clients. So. With that being said, let's take a look at the board. For full transparency, I just wanna share with you that this process will be broken up into multiple videos. So that is really clear focus on each point and, and kind of showing you my entire process. Uh, but this practice of mine has been, I've been doing this for about four years now, and it has generated over seven figures in the last four years and has the potential to generate seven figures plus per year. Uh, and that is the goal to get to that point. Until then, I figured, let me take some time to share with you guys exactly how I operate. And this is also really good for my uh, uh, potential loyal subscribers that are looking to become clients and you want to get a little deeper dive in terms of how I work and how I operate, right? make sure I'm the right person and that such. So you get a really inside look from that perspective as a potential customer, but also for those who are my fellow coaches, fellow consultants, fellow insurance agents, advisors that are maybe struggling to generate six figures, uh, you're just struggling in your process and you're trying to make some tweaks. I have an event coming up um, this year as I record this video, it's August of 2022. I have an event coming up in um, October 14th and the 15th. It's a two day virtual event, uh, really just helping people become financial coaches without any certifications where we dive really deep into the business process, the automation, follow up sales, marketing, et cetera, et cetera, and using your situations as case studies, real case studies. So it's not just gonna be me doing all the talking, rather you're gonna be engaged during this event and I'm gonna be using your situation on the whiteboard and we lay out the entire process because you may not follow everything to a T nor should you. You wanna be able to take black and white strategies, fundamental strategies, and then customize it to how you operate with your clients and how you just operate yourself personally on a spiritual level and things like that. So taking it back to the board here, the very top of my process, is social media content creation and my website right so i'm on as many social media platforms as i can handle okay my primary platform is youtube okay now over the years a lot of different platforms have uh, given us the ability to uh, be on multiple platforms at the same time and one of those ways is through live streaming okay so I use a platform called Ecamm Live. There's another platform I was using called Restream, which allows me to go live on multiple platforms, say YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, all at the same time, which is beautiful because that means as I'm live streaming, that is three pieces of content on three separate platforms that gets archived and saved on each of those platforms, right? So this saves a ton of time as it relates to this video I'm doing right here where it's a pre-recorded video that then has to be edited, that then has to be uploaded to each platform individually according to where I wanna send it, right? So that can be very, very time consuming if you're an insurance agent, financial coach, consultant, you're already dealing with clients or maybe you don't have a whole lot of clients but you're spending a lot of time say networking, going to events, trying to you know obtain new leads, new business referrals, uh, all that stuff, right? There's so many hats that we have to wear as uh, business owners, entrepreneurs. So whenever we can find systems that we can either automate or that can reduce our time, that can increase our time in another department that can increase our revenue and sales, we're going to look at it, right? We're not going to, we're not going to overlook that. So this is 
one of the most effective uses of my time. This helps me recapture a lot of time. I actually don't do a whole lot of pre-recorded material compared to the live streaming that I do. So in my business, I live stream. I either do public live streams or I do private live streams with clients where I set up a Zoom meeting or a unlisted YouTube video that's live. I'll invite my clients, I'll invite my prospects, people that I want to become clients and I invite them to a live stream and I'll have a bunch of different topics that I can cover. And what I'll do is I'll have the main topic that I wanna cover. Once I am done, I then look at the questions. So I open it up to Q and A and this increases engagement tremendously, keeps people on your live stream longer. And then what happens is the live stream, like I said, whether I'm public or private, that is a permanent piece of content on that social media platform. So just looking at YouTube to not cause any confusion. Just want to give you that example. I go on a live stream publicly on YouTube. Here's the system. Boom. I'm live on YouTube. That means everyone can see it's a public live stream. Non-subscribers, subscribers, clients, pro everyone live stream. Boom. I do a topic. Once the topic is done, then I do Q and A. Once all the questions are done, close out the live stream, done. That's now one piece of content on YouTube that those people can rewatch at a later time. And those that missed the live stream can catch the replay along with the whole Q and A chat right there. And that video will work for me for as long as I live. Then since I recorded live on Ecamm, right? It's the shirt that I'm wearing on Ecamm live. I have the recorded material on my computer, which I then can download, uh, send it to my phone so I can edit on there a little bit. Or in this case, what I do now is I have an, I have a video editor that I can afford, right? So you may not be able to afford a video editor in the beginning, very easy to, uh, do with some very, very minor edits, nothing crazy when you're first starting out, especially when you don't have a huge following, you don't want to waste too much time. You want to get the material out there and it's okay if you have mistakes, if you, if you pause, if you breathe, if you cough, if you sneeze, it's okay. Make the mistakes, right? Over time, you can always edit, um, as you create the budget for it, you can hire a video editor to fix all that up. Nothing crazy. So. I do the live stream, download it, send it to my video editor, and then my editor will send me back uh, the video, but in multiple different formats, either reels, uh, formatted for IGTV, formatted for YouTube, formatted for LinkedIn, formatted for Facebook, right? So now I took one video, one live stream, and that could potentially turn into 15, 20 plus different videos that I can then re upload to my YouTube channel and everywhere else, and then schedule all the stuff out, saving me tons of time, having to come up with a script, having to, um, you know, come up with topics that I want to talk about when you live stream, you're live, you got to go. So there's this sense of urgency to serve the client right then and there, serve your audience right then and there. It's like literally having someone sit in your studio and you're talking directly to them. That's what it feels like when you're live streaming versus when you're recording, when you're doing a pre-recording, you've got to have the notes. You have to have everything written out in advance. You, you really have to be prepared and then you're judging yourself even more when you make a mistake. I've made so many, so many mistakes so far, even in my speech, as I've been talking, I, I could care less at this point, right? But in the beginning, you're going to care a lot. And to reduce that, if you switch to live streaming, you make a mistake, you make a mistake, you're live, you got to keep it moving, right? So, and then uh, also understanding that you can download it, re-edit it later, repost it, repurpose it for many other different things. So in my case, I repost it and I also repurpose it either in my course, I can repurpose it as, you know, a, a sales tool, a marketing funnel tool, a promotional tool, so many different things I can do. And I just rinse and repeat in terms of this process right here. Then moving down the line, once someone sees the live stream, what's going to happen some way, shape or form, they're going to land 
somewhere on my website, on a landing page, contact form, the different links that I'll provide them. I'm sending them somewhere. I'm giving them an action step while they're watching me. So it's going to take them here to either landing page or contact form. From there, their next action step is completing the contact form, which will put them automatically from this point on. Most of this is like automated, right? The website, once you have it automated landing page, once you have it, it's automated The contact form automated. So they fill out a contact form. I get notified. They get notified. Hey, thank you for filling out the contact form. Boom, boom, boom. Here's what's to expect. They then get put in the email newsletter. That's going to nurture them. It's going to provide additional resources and information that either leads them to products and services that I was talking about on the live stream, right? So it's going to be continuing to answer more and more questions as they move along my process. So they go from filling out the contact form, they get put on an email newsletter. They're then put into a nurture sequence. This can be as long as six, nine months, almost a year in my, in my case. At some point, it might happen during the live stream. It might happen during the nurture sequence, but eventually they become a client, right? They purchase a product or service that I'm providing to them. So boom, they become a client. Then what happens shortly after is they will have access to the courses. So automatically they'll be given an email. Thank you for your purchase, right? They'll give a, they'll get a receipt. Welcome. Boom. Then they'll get access to my course. I use Kajabi here. It'll notify them their login information, where to go. And then I have additional emails and resources that goes out saying, Hey, did you log in? Hey, how are you? Get here's where you get started. Da, da, da. So in addition to getting access to the courses, they get access to the community, and then they will send their numbers to me. They might send it all the way up here. They might send it during the live stream. Cause I always tell people, listen, you want to work with me. I need to know your numbers. You could tell me your whole life story. That's not going to help me help you until I have the numbers, right? So I make that part of the process. Hey, what are your numbers? What are your numbers? What are your numbers? Because once I have the numbers, I mean everything, right? So I have a, a, a spreadsheet that they'll get as soon as they contact me or hit my landing page or join my private community or get on the newsletter. At some point, they're going to receive that financial spreadsheet. They're going to start working on it. And then they might feel compelled, trustworthy enough to send their numbers to me. So they might send their numbers after they become a client or before either way, something at some point is going to trigger a sale, right? From there, once they send the numbers, then, and this can sometimes be manual. Other times it's automated based on if they became a client, if they became a client, it'll automatically show them where to book a call. And then I have videos that instructs them not to book a call unless you have your numbers, questions, everything in line, right? So I'll say, look, you can book a call in advance, say 30 days out or 15 days out or however far out. But as long as you send me your numbers in advance to me, along with your questions, I, I inform them this is going to help me maximize our time together because we only have an hour each session, let's say. And I want to maximize. I want to give you the utmost value. So when they're accessing the courses in the community, they're given prep work automatically. They'll see the pregame work that I provide for them. Then they see the book a call process, right? And this is great. And then once they've booked the call, done the prep work, sent the numbers, became a client. Now they're on the call receiving the results, right? I'm mapping out their strategy, the budget, the strategy to eliminate debt, velocity banking, infinite banking, kingdom authority, whatever it is, starting a business, whatever it is, I give them action steps. They go back to pregame work, book a call results, action steps, pregame work, book a call results, rinse, lather, repeat. So this is my entire process. This helps me generate a multiple six figure business year over year for the last four years For the last four years consecutively been able to generate multiple six figures, being a financial coach, consultant, and many other hats that I wear, content creator, influencer, guru, uh, speaker. Um, I mean, so many different titles at this point, but essentially I'm creating a community of loyal, like-minded followers, leaders that I can serve day in and day out. And in order for me to effectively do that, I need to have a process, a system, sequencing, 
I have to have a really nice, elegant, clean sequence of events that occur where literally every single person receives nearly the same experience every single time because there's going to be some variations. There's going to be some times where I'll, I'll get involved in my process and I might, I might break my own rules. I might jump on a call with someone that didn't send me their numbers, right? Sometimes I do break my own rules. Um, it's not ideal. Uh, I've learned that when I don't follow my system more often than not, it does not yield the best fruit. For example, when I break my own rule and I hop on a phone call with someone that didn't fill out their numbers, that didn't send me their questions in advance. Usually the first 20, 30 minutes or so, we're just trying to figure out their numbers. How much money do you make? How much do you spend? And what's your total debt? And what's the interest rate on that? And what's the monthly payment? And what's this? And what's that? And what's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? 30 minutes into it, now that I have all the data, now I can actually give value to them. So they didn't start receiving the value till 30 minutes into the call. I, I truly don't like operating that way, but sometimes, and this is where I, I get the feeling of whether it's Holy Spirit working through me, God uh, speaking to me in a way, and I'm like, should I do this, Lord? And sometimes I'll get a yes, or sometimes I don't get an answer at all. And then I just say, okay, I'm going to give this person a call, right? And I'm going to set up a call with them. And when we're on the call, right then and there, they send the numbers. And I'm like, oh, okay, thank God we're good. You know, other times, they don't send their numbers, but they know their numbers. So sometimes that gathering of data comes down to like maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So every now and then you might break your own rules, break your own. This is me just providing full transparency and being vulnerable that look, it's important to have your black and white strategy, your fundamental systems that you put in place to grow your practice. And here and there, you may break a rule. But for the most part, you do not. So for the most part, I don't break my rules. I have my systems in place. This helps me generate multiple six figures. My income keeps going up. My effectiveness, my performance, my time freedom keeps going up. As long as I follow these systems, these boring systems, right? This, this isn't the sexy stuff, right? This is the nitty gritty meat and potatoes type stuff where you've got to really sit down, whether it's using sticky notes or a whiteboard like this and literally saying, what is the very first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning? Okay. And then the next step. Okay. And the next, and okay. And then boom, and then a boom, and then boom. And then so in your business, the same thing. This is how I develop my schedule, where I say on Mondays and Tuesdays, I do this. On Fridays, I, re I pre-record content. On Thursdays nights, I go live. On on Saturday mornings, I go live, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I post every single time on YouTube, 12 o'clock PM Eastern time. So I don't take any calls between that time because maybe I want to be engaged on my social media platform. So there's like this whole process and flow, right? I love it when, when I create velocity banking in my business, right? The velocity of money is velocity banking. Right. So this is what I teach all the time is velocity banking, helping you accelerate your debt or create cash flow. And that's covering the numbers. But then imagine creating velocity in your time, right? Creating a flow in your business operations. And, uh, it's like one of the best things when you finally found your perfect system, it works just the way you operate. It's perfect. Right? So my, my encouragement to you is, Hey, look at the fundamentals from this strategy, right? The black and whites here, and then you cater it to what works for you. Um, and then if you want to take the next step, right? The next action step here, boom, I already showed you my process. You're going to reach out to me via contact form. You can hit my landing page, or you're going to sign up for the event that I'm going to have in October. And I look forward to seeing you there. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. Have a wonderful day. God bless. And we'll be talking soon.